Hey everybody, it's me Porter Rayleigh here again. I got my April Knit Crate box today, so I wanted to unbox it with everybody today. And I have scissors, I have um, my children's scissors today, which is, I mean, they're a little smaller than the ones I used last time, so they'll work a little better. But hooray! My Knit Crate box came for April and I only have one to one box today because I didn't get the um, additional box because that was a one time deal to get that Anyways, because I just signed up and now this is my first official one after signing up, so April. But before we get to unboxing my April Knit Crate, I thought I would show you guys the few projects that I finished first. So I know I talked about how mostly I do dishcloths, so I thought I would show my dishcloth off. So that is what my dishcloths look like. And, um, I only have two right now because I've given a lot away. <laughs> and then I just finished, I was learning a couple of different like crochet styles. And so um, the one that I did first was the, oh, I think for, uh, the waffle, the waffle knit. So um, this is my finished waffle knit scarf. It kind of ended up a bit more like I, I thought I could make it wider than kind of what the um, pattern suggested. So I made it pretty wide, but it's actually a bit more wide than I should have. I probably should have done it maybe half the width, but, and it's really long because I just was practicing. Well, maybe it's not too long actually, but like wearing it, it's a bit, it's a bit bulky. So I think next time if I do this again, I will do a uh, not so wide version, but I love the color of it. And this was from um, Michael's, just their Karen, Karen cake yarn that they sell. So that's what this, this yarn is. And same with the other one that I'm gonna show. The other um, scarf that I just finished crocheting, I'm sorry, if I'm saying knitting, I do mean crocheting, um, is the basket weave one. And this is also the Karen cake yarn from Michael's. And it's just the nice kind of basket weave there instead and just a different color of the yeah Karen cake and I love the Karen cake because it's like multiple colors so I don't have to buy the different colors it's just it comes like that and this one is definitely a bit long but I used two cakes up to make this just as more of a practice for the um, crochet pattern more than um, I mean I'll wear it or I'll give it away or something but yeah it was just to learn the pattern so those are my most recent creations. And um, how about we get to unboxing? And I was very good. I did not see anybody else's unboxing. I know there's a couple up on YouTube that I kind of scrolled past, but I think one of them showed the color of yarn that they got in the box, or at least I, I saw that it said April and I saw the color of yarn and I don't know if it was like this April or last April's that it was, but I might've gotten a sneak peek but I think that they probably use more than one color, so I don't know if that's the color I'm gonna get. So anyways, I'm going to grab my children's scissors and we will cut this and see what, see what yarn we got. All right, so I'm gonna do kind of the same thing as I did last time. I'm gonna open it up towards the camera and feel around and see what I got. So there is two skeins in here. And I'll pull that out. Oh, this is actually different than the one that I saw. Oh, it's beautiful. It's like a, a red kind of coral color. It looks really, really red on camera, but it's actually not quite so bright um, to me. It's called Ladybug. Oh, it's called Ladybug. So that makes sense that it would be a beautiful red kind of color there. And let's see, I'm assuming the other one should be identical. Yeah. Yeah, it's the same kind of red. And there is a little bit of um, like lighter throughout the darker. I don't know if you can tell, but it does have lighter kind of streaks through it. So beautiful, beautiful colors. Oh, I can't wait to see what patterns they suggest. Wow. Okay, so let's see what, what the book says here. Okay, it is actually, so these are the different colors you could get. And actually that light blue one there was the one that I saw on somebody else's um, 
YouTube video. So I didn't know that one was an option, but I'm kind of glad I didn't get it. I mean, I love the color, but I'm very happy that I was able to unbox a different color. So, and yeah, beautiful, multiple color ones there too that people could have gotten. So just gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous choices there. So I'm just gonna quickly look in here and see what I can show if anything. So I've got, this is the color that I got and this, actually I don't know, it's kind of shiny. Um, it shows a bit of a pattern there with it. My brain is dying. <laughs> what the pattern is gonna be. Sorry, I'm like looking and reading and talking at the same time. I shouldn't do that. I should just show off what I have here. So I think the last um, one that I showed from March said that was like entomology based. So I think everything is supposed to be after different types of bugs and stuff. So this is um, one of the patterns that they have for what you can make with it. Just a beautiful shawl, I guess. Spring shoulder warmer. And it's a crochet pattern, that one there. And then let's see what the other ones are. Um, oh, okay, and then they do suggest if you have, if you wanna make something bigger, then it looks like there is an option. If you buy more skeins, you can make something a little bigger and they have the tassels there on that option. And let's see what else might be in here. So this as well is called the canopy and it's the triangle shawl and that is, um, that's knitting, a knitting one. And, <laughs> okay, that's pretty big. Ooh. And then, uh, I mean, you can get the yarn for the socks as well. So they have the, <laughs> the sock one there if you wanna see kind of what that looks like. It's a pretty one like that. And I think, I think that's all. Oh yes, okay. And then their pop-up shop has um, this beautiful kind of, I don't know, jean colored maybe? So that's that one. And there we go. And on the back, it tells us what May is going to be based on. And May is based on Farmer's Market. And so those are the color um, options, I guess, for May. Pretty cool. So there you have it. I got my April box. I've got the beautiful ladybug colored yarn from my knit crate. So thanks, oops, got my magazine. Thanks you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed seeing me unbox my April yarn and go check out everybody else's unboxing. If, the, um, if you know anybody else that unboxes, I suppose, I'm gonna go see what I can find on YouTube as well and see what other color choices people got. And yeah, enjoy the rest of your day. We'll see you later. Bye.